we have an Alto TX210 that I bought for a home studio project. Um, and I knew it was broken when I bought it. So I would, but I thought it would be a simple fix and it took a lot longer than I thought. Um, and here's what it was in this case. So the inside of these things, you just take, take the screws off and this whole amplifier unit comes out. So it's screwed on by several screws and you, you detach the speaker wires and then you've got this amplifier. And the problem in my case, which I thought it was going to be a loose connection in one of these power wires coming in off of the switch, um, but it was not. What it ended up being when I traced it, and it probably pops up quite a bit, is this little capacitor right here um, has two legs that, that go through it, one, one here and one here. And they're so skinny that uh, this, and this thing has room to bend and flop. And uh, you can see where I put a glob of solder to solder the leg back together. It was fractured, so the amp would cut out after it was on for a little bit. It would just, all of a sudden, just stop. Um, it took me forever to find this, but hopefully, if anybody else has the same problem, you can go to that as one of the options um, quickly instead of trying to <laughs> test through a bunch of chips and all that kind of stuff. This thing had me bamboozled, and then I looked closer at the top of the circuit board and saw the fracture in the, the one leg on that capacitor. So anyway, that's what it was. And so this thing is all fixed. And here it is back together, running probably now for over an hour. Let me hit the microphone. Check, 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 check. So it still appears to be working okay. We'll let it run for a couple more hours.